All right, Char, weather, uh, what starts the holiday weekend? Question is, is it going to get worse, better? Yeah, Vanessa Murdoch's the only one who can answer that for us right now. <laughs> what do you say? Well, first it gets a little, hmm, not so nice, a little, a little worse, I don't, you know, and then it gets better. Okay, so tomorrow will be significantly colder and looking similar to today, and then the improvement begins from there. So live outside right now, love this picture from high atop the Empire State Building because it gives you a real sense of just how low the clouds are, how murky it is out there, and how damp the air mass is. Much quieter, though, over the city. 64 degrees, there is a strong breeze out of the east-northeast at 25 miles per hour right now. As you look forward in the forecast, here's what you can expect. Today's high was 78. Eight. Tomorrow's high, just 69 degrees. Then Sunday, the improvement begins. Remember, 78 Sunday, Monday will be up to the mid 80s. As far as precip chances go, still a chance for some showers tonight. They're on the radar still. Tomorrow, yet again, looks similar to today. Mostly cloudy skies, showers, and storms. Sunday, the fourth, 20% chance. Monday into Tuesday, your forecast is looking bright. As we look at what's happening at this moment in time, we have a lot of activity now lifting up in the northeasterly direction. Soggy is sections now over Nassau County, a little bit of lighter rain over Suffolk County, and also we see north of the city through Fairfield County, a lot of activity. But we are getting a little bit of a reprieve from what was heavy, at times severe weather earlier tonight. Low pressure is the culprit. It is slow moving. It continues to affect your forecast tomorrow. That's why it looks very similar to today. The reason it's so much cooler tomorrow is because winds become more easterly, roll in and off the open Atlantic. So that keeps that cool breeze coming in. Sunday into Monday, high pressure takes control, and that is why the sun returns, as does the warmth. So hour by hour, let's take you through this forecast. As of midnight, notice things are getting a little better, especially across the Garden State. As we make our way toward tomorrow morning, we've got scattered activity, showers, maybe a storm. As we get into the afternoon, storms become more likely, and that trend will continue until after sunset on Saturday. Now, as we roll into Sunday, things are looking better, a little drier as we start the day. Some more breaks of sun start to pop. Now, as you get into the afternoon, there is a 20% chance of storms on Sunday by fireworks time. Things are looking okay. So we're going to hope that this holds true so we can get those fireworks in. Here is a look at the holiday weekend forecast for you. 69 degrees tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Again, looking a little bit soggy at times. Now, Sunday, it's 78 degrees for us, a mix of sun and clouds, 20% chance of showers and storms. Then on Monday, gorgeous, 85 degrees and mostly sunny. Now, tomorrow, if you're going to hit the beach, remembering that it's only going to be in the 60s tomorrow, high risk of rip currents on the south shore of Long Island, moderate risk down shore. Your beach Beach forecast improves Sunday into Monday. I think Monday is definitely your best beach day. Bright skies, upper 70s and low 80s then. Your extended forecast. As we move past the holiday weekend, folks, temperatures will really climb. Low 90s midweek, Tuesday into Wednesday. Late Wednesday, chance for storms more seasonable as we wrap the week. I hope your holiday weekend is an awesome one. Again, tomorrow's a little worse than it improves through the weekend. Dick and Jessica, back to well, you. The good news is Monday, a lot of people still have off. So that's that's right. I mean, evening. not you, Brennan. But, no, you know. not, you, Brennan. <laughs> not me either. <laughs> and you'll be here. You guys will hear all week. That's right. Anyway, but we'll all be enjoying our work. Thanks, anyway. Vanessa. Thanks, Vanessa.